whenever you are stuffing bell peppers or any kind of peppers, you need to make sure you keep the integrity of the pepper. The pepper is your vessel, it's your bowl, your cup, it's your dish to hold whatever ingredients. And the last thing you want is a soggy inside. You don't want your ingredients on the inside to be soggy and you don't want your beautiful pepper to be soggy. Welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Pam and today we're going to make spaghetti stuffed bell peppers. Old fashioned spaghetti stuffed bell peppers. Absolutely amazing. But more than the stuffing, I'm going to show you how to keep the integrity to your pepper. So it'll stay nice and firm, yet tender and tasty and that you're stuffing no matter what. If you're doing the traditional with your rice and your ground beef, that it won't turn to mush on the inside. And I'm going to also show you what to do if your bell peppers won't stay sitting up right like these are doing without needing to chop off the bottom. Come with me, I'll show you what to do. Because this is going to be old fashioned spaghetti, we're going to be combining everything together, but we're going to be using some 80-20 ground beef. If you don't want to use ground beef, you can use ground chicken. And spaghetti, just cook your spaghetti according to package directions. Since we are stuffing bell peppers, typically with my old fashioned spaghetti, and I'm not gonna to go too far into this because I actually have a complete video showing you of how I make my old school, old fashioned spaghetti. I have some of my tomato sauce here that I'll be using that I made, and I have a chopped onion. I typically would put a little green bell pepper in it as well, but since we're stuffing the peppers, we'll leave that out. So I'm gonna set these things aside. Before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. I really do appreciate you. Returning subscribers, love you. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me once again. And to my channel members, thank you so much. If you are new, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Now, to keep the peppers upright, you can use a large muffin tin. They sit right in there. Most peppers do. Just like that. Just like that. And I'm going to put this one in the middle because it's a little bit bigger, but you'll see it still will hold it straight up right. They sit just as nice and pretty. And you can put up to six if you have a larger one. Now, this is not a mini muffin. This is a regular muffin tin. So make sure you have the regular size. It's a perfect vessel to hold your peppers while they cook, okay? Most of the time, your bottoms are not even, and this is a real good one. One of these, this one is a real good one. The bottoms, although it looks like it, they're really not even, so when you slice it off, chances are you're going to end up with a hole at some point in the bottom of your pepper, which is going to allow for liquid, leakage, leakage of whatever you have as your filling. I'm just going to lightly spray my tin and if you don't want to use spray oil, and this is just a butter spray oil, if you don't want to use a spray oil, you can use a uh, dust it with a little olive oil or butter. You can run a little butter over it or olive oil if you don't want to use a spray. Now for our actual peppers. We're going to cut the tops off and take the seeds out. Um, we don't necessarily need the tops. You can cut them in half lengthways if you want, or you can just cut the tops off like I'm doing right here. And I like to kind of go around without cutting all the way through because as most of you all know, I garden. And so typically I try to go ahead and do the best I can with getting it out of here without disturbing the seeds on the top of the stem. And that way, I can turn it upside down and let them dry out and I'll have seeds. So comes out just like that. Now I can sit this down somewhere until my seeds completely dry out. Please visit me at my gardening channel, The Scaredy Cat Gardener on YouTube. Okay, so then we can just clean out the rest of these seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tops off the rest of these and we'll be right back so that we can make sure we uphold the integrity of our peppers. We are going to cook them for 10 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When they come out, I'll show you exactly why 
that is an absolute must. So just sit them in your muffin tin, or if you don't have a muffin tin, and you're just using a baking sheet. You know, you can line the baking sheet with a little parchment paper or foil or put them in there like they are, and just sit them in there just like this for about 10 minutes. There's a couple of reasons why you do not want to skip this step, okay? Here we go into our oven. Okay, our peppers are in the oven and our spaghetti is over here cooking. We are going to go ahead and get our meat started for our meat sauce. Once your meat starts to brown, you can go ahead at that point and add your onions in. I like for my onions to have a little bite, so I don't necessarily saute them first, but you surely can. We're gonna go in here at the same time with our seasonings. I'm gonna use a little salt, a little black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and my own all-purpose seasoning blend, which will be available to you all soon. Okay, so we're gonna give this a good mix let it go ahead and cook all together and we will go ahead and drain our spaghetti. Make sure you stir your ground beef periodically and when you drain your pasta, make sure you reserve a couple of tablespoons of the pasta water. We'll be adding it back in once we add our spaghetti into the ground beef mixture and what that does, it helps your pasta, whatever pasta you're cooking in, whatever meat sauce or other ingredients that you have, it helps your sauce stick to the pasta. So you always wanna add back in a spoon or two of your original pasta water. That starch in there is what you're after. So I'm going to be draining the meat so that before we put our sauce in, we're gonna drain the meat so that we won't have a greasy spaghetti. We have drained our oil off of our ground beef. I'm going to turn my skillet down on medium low. This is some of my homemade pasta sauce. So I'm going to add some in here to it. Okay, so now we are going to give it a quick taste to make sure it has everything in here that we want as far as seasoning is concerned. Always taste as you go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna add just a tad bit more of my seasoning, my all-purpose seasoning in there. Delicious. Okay, now let's go ahead and add back in or add in our spaghetti. Give that a good toss so that you can combine it. Get it all in that sauce, really good. Okay, I'm gonna add back in a little of this pasta water that I reserved. And then we're gonna head back over to the counter so that we're gonna let this simmer and I can show you why we needed to cook those peppers for a few minutes first a step you do not want to omit. Our peppers are out of the oven. Please don't skip this step. Peppers are about 90% water, water. And once heated, the water is extracted from them. So this is why we cook them first. See that water that's coming out of your pepper? that soaks up into whatever you are filling your peppers with. Look how much water is coming out of that. That's because they are peppers or mostly water. So now, had we not done that, we have all this water that would have been mixed with our filling. And that's what makes your filling mushy or soggy. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these. I like to put a little cheese in them first. Make sure y'all can see me. Cheese in the bottom. We're gonna grab our spaghetti 
fill them up. Everything is already cooked, including the peppers. So now we'll put them back in the oven just until the cheese on top gets nice and brown and bubbly. And yes, I have a ton of spaghetti here because my son loves spaghetti. So we'll be, he'll be having just spaghetti as well as his pepper. Yes. Just fill them up. And we're gonna to top them off with cheese. I have a mixture of mozzarella, provolone, Swiss. Uh, what else is in there? Uh, white cheddar, yes. So that's a mix of cheese that I have in there. So that one up a little bit more. So I'm gonna fill these on up and we'll be back. Okay, now we're gonna top it with some cheese and put it in a 400 degree oven just until our cheese is all gooey, gooey and melty. Make sure all my little spaghetti is in there. Ooh, okay, we are all done. Don't they look amazing? We're ready to plate this up. And while we are doing that, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. Take a second and subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming once again and hanging out with me. And for my channel members, oh my goodness, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. Ooh, this is smelling amazingly delicious. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. You know it's time for us to do a taste test. Before we do that taste test, take a look, take a look. Don't they look amazingly delicious, colorful, beautiful, cheesy? Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, let me bring you guys in just a little bit closer. Okay, we're closer. Now take a look. I couldn't help it guys. Look at it. Don't they look amazing? And they're not soggy and mushy inside. Why? Because we bake them first to release all of that water and we got an opportunity to pour that water out. So I'm just going to take a little bit of piece here because I'm getting ready to sit down and eat so I'm not going to eat too much. But oh my goodness, look at the cheese. Ooh, yes, it smells delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. That old-fashioned spaghetti taste is amazing. And you can still, I haven't even bit into the pepper yet, but because it's in the pepper, you still get that amazing flavor from it. It is just awesome. I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye-bye.